Jets. Live from New York Jets training camp, it's LeVac and Goss on 104.5 The Team. We are sitting across from a mountain of a man who has been through it today. Uh, Brent Quali. Quali's the right way, correct? Correct. Okay, I have heard your last name said at least 50 different ways. You and me both. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Spelled with a V, sounds like a U. Just Quali. Quali. Does it, did it used to bother you? Does it bother you when we get it wrong? I mean, it's been my whole life. It's been 27 years worth of it, so I'm, I'm pretty used to it by now. I don't expect anyone to get it right because it, it's messed up, and that's fine. Is so there, like, saying. pride to that at this yeah, point? Yeah, exactly. It is. It's a little prideful to... Uh, to be able to correct me, like quality, and then have people say, "No, I'd, no, you're wrong." Like, no, it's 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 my name. I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm right. So you should uh, do that, like in bars. Like, hey, did yeah. you hear what you see? What uh, Brent Quali did? Type? It's, it's Cuval. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I'm just used to it. It's all good. So Brent, you're out there today. You guys, you, you went at it. You guys were going a, a long time. Like this, this, we've watched your practices at, at Jets Camp for this is the fourth year. Is this the most intense it's been in years? Yeah, I think so. And I think in a good way, though, um, I think we got guys competing, competing. You know, it's a it's very competitive. A lot of guys are fighting for for roster spots right now and everything. And it's pretty close across the board in all positions. So I think guys are really just coming out every day. Um, I think we have a good mindset that uh, just come out here, get our work done. Obviously, it was really hot today. We uh, had to suck it up and, and, and finish the practice. But, yeah, I think I think we've had good competition through the first couple weeks of camp now. Uh, we've we've talked to Beecham a couple of times, Kelvin Beecham. He's been on the show a handful of times. He's dinged up. What does that mean for you guys in the O line? Well, it just means other guys have opportunities now. Um, you know, other guys have to step in at that left tackle position. Um, just more reps for for guys. And like I said, it's a it's one big competition right now for everybody. So when you get in at a if if you rotate over to left tackle and you haven't done it before, then you just got to go out there, give it your best shot, and show what you can do. Take us through the push-up policy. Why do you guys got to do push-ups? Uh, penalties. So, <laughs> no off offsides, penalties. Even if you guys like, let's say if you got into it with the defensive lineman too, is that going to count as push-ups? Um, whatever the ref throws. If the ref throws it on, <laughs> just make sure just make sure you're the first one so that they get the retaliator. That's always the <laughs> that's the key to success in fights. So, uh, but yeah. So if if an, if a penalty is called on your side of the ball, you got push-ups. So um, we're trying to cut those out. That's a big emphasis for camp and moving in through preseason into the regular season you've uh, your offensive line unit i would say has been underrated would you is is it where is it this year compared to what we've seen in the past two three years i think we just have a lot more experience now uh like myself dakota um ben Ajelana, guys who have been around that maybe haven't been the day one starters but we've all had to start now we've all had you know multiple starts under our belt um and then plus you have guys like winners who's been a solid starter we brought in spencer long from the redskins who's a consistent starter you know carp's been the iron man for us beecham's been a uh, pretty consistent starter for us um and shell's been in there for a year and he's going on year two so i think it's just all of us are gelling together now even more uh so we can all come together um, as one good offensive line and just be able to, uh, you know, keep increasing our productivity as we get into the regular season. Join by Brent Qualley right now, offensive lineman for the New York Jets as part of the Labatt Blue training camp tour. There's some almost understanded respect between the guys in the middle, the D-line, and you guys going up against those guys like Leonard Williams and others. How much better is that making you guys every single day? Yeah, exactly. Um, our our D-line is, is up there with the best, in my opinion. So I think that... Uh, I mean, you go against that every day. You should be ready to go come come game time. So um, I think we're having a good, healthy competition. We're trying not to, you know, throw guys to the ground, have unnecessary injuries that is going to hurt us moving into the season and into these games. So we just want to have, you know, good competition between each other, get each other better, get our work in, and be ready to go. How's Todd Bowles been this year compared to years in the past? No, I, I love Coach Bowles. He's I, I, I love playing for him. I love I really respect him and you know all the decisions that he's making and all that. I just think you know it's just been it's just been a good solid start to camp. Um, you know as we get you know we're kind of in the in the grinding mode of it now, uh, but it's just being able to to stay consistent and I think that's what he does. You you know what you're going to get with Coach Bowles. You know what's expected of you, and that's what we try to bring every day on the practice field and carry it over. 
Speaking about coaches, you're on my monitor. You're a Nebraska guy, right? You're a Cornhusker. Yes, sir. Yes, They've sir. hired Scott Frost as their head coach. How are you feeling about Coach Frost <sighs> taking over the program? I think uh, I can speak on behalf of everyone in the state of Nebraska that they are very excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, I was driving home through Pennsylvania, and I got a Go Big Red from someone. So it's, uh, you know, they're just – everyone's crazy about him. I think he he brings that toughness back. I played for uh, Bo Pelini, who um, – he. I loved him when he was there too, and he was kind of that same thing. We just didn't quite get it done in the big games. But now I think uh, this is kind of what it was meant to be, was to, to eventually get Frost back there. He's got his guys in place. He's got a lot of guys back from those national champion teams in the 90s. So it's definitely getting back to Cornhusker football. Fred Qualley with us right now, offensive lineman for the Jets. Is he a defending national championship coach? Man, you're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> all, all I'll say is that it was pretty impressive what UCF did last year. It was enjoyable watching him even after he was hired by Nebraska. Um, but he, was, he still was able to recruit at Nebraska and then beat Auburn in, the, in that bowl game on January 1st um, while technically being the head coach of Nebraska. So, I mean, what he went through to be able to get a team ready, beat a really good Auburn team, and then turn around and still recruit guys at Nebraska, that, that's a long month for him. Wait, you're six seven over three bills. How can I get you in trouble? Who's gonna Who's coming at you? Uh, a lot of a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of Alabama a lot guys in the locker room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, big carp, man. Big yeah, carp's coming true. after me. That's <laughs> a quarterback situation. Teddy Bridgewater, Josh McCown, Sam Darnold. You're working with these guys every day. When you're in the huddle with these guys, I think maybe sometimes people underestimate the challenge it can be for a rookie and a first year guy in this franchise that must command the huddle. What are these guys like in the huddle? I tell you what, we have we have three really good quarterbacks right now. They, uh, I enjoy working with all of them. Um, you know, Josh is the is the old vet that knows. You know, he's slick in the huddle and everything. Teddy's just very smooth, and Sam's coming along really well. So, um, they each have you know they're each a little different. They have a little different cadence. They sound a little bit different. So it's just uh, as we get more and more reps throughout camp with each one, you um, you're able to work together and just know what each one brings. Uh, we got Brent Qualley with us right now, offensive lineman, New York Jets, right here on your home for Jets football, 104.5, the team. I've been fascinated by the little guy, Cannon, the running back. What, like, your eyes just lit up a little bit. Like, mm-hmm. is, he, the, the knock on him, D2 school, undersized, is he an NFL running back? Yeah, he's fast. That's what yeah. I think we saw that. <laughs> we saw that um, in the scrimmage a little bit. He, he was moving pretty good. So um, I think that, uh, yeah, I – I think so. I mean, shoot, we have to, you know, obviously that's one thing in practice. That's right. what everyone says. It's everything in practice. But as we get and you got a full backfield too, so yeah, he's got to earn exactly. his spot. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. He and you know the one thing is is that he might be a rookie, but he's showing up every day. He's he's just putting his head down. He goes to work. He get and he does his job. And that's all. As a rookie, that's the best advice I can give you is just show up, shut up, and do your job. <laughs> so <laughs> and carry uh, this off the field, yeah, rook, whatever. Yeah, Don't exactly. smile until September. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And carry my pads, but. Uh, <laughs> But no, I think uh, I think his speed is 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 very good. Um, we'll see what happens in these preseason games. I'm excited to watch him. Yeah, preseason game one on the way coming up. Expectations for you guys. What are you hoping up? Besides staying healthy and all you guys held down, like what are you hoping for in game one? Uh, game one is just obviously executing our offense well. Um, no penalties. We want to. That's you know these push-ups that we've been doing. We want to cut down on the penalties. Cut down. Uh, have no mental errors and just really be able to go. Um, go and execute our offense and see it in a live scenario for one, you know, like you can go really hard in camp and stuff, but we're not going to, you know, try and throw on our guys and cut on our guys. But now when it's a live game scenario and everything is, is up and, and going, it's uh it's time to take what we've done from basically April up until now and, and see it live. You, you, um, are you all concerned about the pass rush you're going to get? Because it's Atlanta for your first game, right? Correct. But they got, I mean, they, they do more speed outside. You've got more big guy inside. Is that mm-hmm. going to be a difficult adjustment in that game? Yeah, uh, we played them last year, so it's kind of still a little bit fresh in our minds. So we'll see. Uh, I got to start watching, watching some tape and stuff, and just getting, um, getting ready to go for these guys. But I, I think we're all excited to finally, you know, we've had OTAs. Now we're in training camp. It's finally time to go play on a, on the big field and play against someone else. All right, listen, we really appreciate you coming up here. I know you like you you undid your shoulder pads and a wave of water <laughs> hit the stage. You 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 earned the the snack, the shower, everything else, man. Brent Qualley, uh best of luck this season for you and the Jets. Thank you so much for making time for us. Thank you. Appreciate it.